Well, we thank God for this beautiful day. And of course, this is The Buzz UG as usual. My name is Melads Milo, aka Fula. And in case you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Now, former presidential candidate, His Excellency Robert Chagula Nyusentamu, aka Bobby Wine, has vowed to fight to his last breath to make sure that President Museveni doesn't get even a drop of oil from the Bunyoro region. Now, Bobby Wine said that it's not written anywhere that it should be only President Museveni to drill Uganda's oil and hence as a country we should wait so that all the necessary areas with question marks are streamlined, especially the environment concerns and human rights. <laughs> Now, last week, the Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Horrible Thomas Tayewa, confirmed that he and other leaders in Parliament were going to have a meeting on the issue of abductions in the country. So finally, the meeting was held on Friday, and this is what was communicated. They are saying that other people went abroad. We don't know which list they are talking about, the people who are abroad, and they are in which, in, they are in which country. So they, we want them to, to come up, one, make an apology, these people died in their hands, or uh, they are in a certain prison, so that we can follow up. We are going to going to the are to the But we following Presenting a was speaker, then to the security minister, but we didn't have followed up. Well, there you go. That is horrible Abdallah Chiwanuka, Mukono North Member of Parliament. Well, abductions are still going on in the country. Just last night, journalist Remy Bahati communicated through her social media platforms that her brother had been abducted by gunmen from their home in Fort Porto. Uh, surprisingly, President Museveni is not commenting on what's going on because if he's really innocent about these abductions, Ugandans expected him to put up a comment at least recently when he addressed the country. But he didn't say anything regarding this matter, not even through his Twitter handle. Now, this video of people who look to be security officers from the UPDF kidnapping a gentleman who has been identified as Rafiq from Pakistan has been making rounds on different social media platforms. Now, Kampala Metropolitan Police spokesperson Luke Owaisijire has said that these guys kidnapping are not security officers. They were robbers masquerading as security officers and right now they are working on identifying them. However, different people from the NUP camp have commented on this viral video. Now, the Ministry of Public Service has made a draft of proposals for cabinet consideration to standardize funeral and burial expenses for the VIP in government. 
Under the proposals, it will cost up to 500 million to bury a sitting president, 300 million for the vice president, former vice president, the speaker and deputy speaker of parliament, plus the IGG. Now, the leader of opposition has also been included in the proposal. For example, if Honorable Mathas Mbuga dies right now, God forbid of course, 240 million will be spent according to the proposal. Now, this proposal has left many Ugandans very angry. Some people are saying that teachers, security officers, doctors and other government workers are poorly paid. But hey, people are here talking about trivial matters. Anyway guys, what do you think about this proposal? Is it a nice move or is it another wastage of resources? The comment section is right there for you. Now, in a tweet yesterday morning, the Minister of Health, Dr. Ruth Acheng, announced the death of Dr. Muhammad Ali, aged 37, a Tanzanian national. The deceased tested positive of Ebola recently and died while receiving treatment at Fort Porto Regional Referral Hospital Isolation Center. Unfortunately, we lost him today at about 3.15 a.m. in one of our isolation facilities in Fort Porto Regional Referral Hospital, a facility that we refer to as JMedic because it is a research facility. Now, Dr. Ali is the second medical worker to succumb to Ebola since the outbreak hit. Well, he was pursuing a master's degree in medicine and surgery at Kampala International University. May his soul rest in peace. Well, the Ministry of Health requires US dollars 18 million, approximately 69 billion, to respond to the Ebola outbreak in the country. Do you have the money? Yes, you do. So are you willing to give it to me? It is up to you to go and think about it. Containing an Ebola outbreak is not cheap. Uganda has managed seven Ebola outbreaks. And in all these seven Ebola outbreaks, we have never exported. Some Ugandans are saying Dr. Jen Ruthachenk is back to steal more money like they did for COVID-19 in 2020-2021. President Museveni has appointed former Uganda police spokesperson and former member of parliament, Honorable Simeo Subuga, commissioner of the Uganda Human Rights Commission. It should be remembered that Simeo Subuga was one of the vocal promoters of the presidential age limit. If it wasn't for people like this guy who fought so hard in parliament to make sure that the constitution is tampered with, President Museveni wouldn't be in state house right now. Uh, some people on different social media platforms are saying that this commission job, President Museveni, is appreciating Simeo Subuga for the job well done in the 2017 age limit debate. Anyway, congratulations, horrible Simeo Subuga. I don't know what you think about the stories I have for you this morning, but in case you have anything on your mind, just put it down in the comment section. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't, and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. Well, my name is Melads Milo, aka Fuller, and it's a bye for now. Thank you.